Hey guys, welcome to another Miner's Haven tutorial on how to make millions quickly. Uh, this will be my second version, but this is a much better setup. It costs less. This will only cost you about a billion. I know that's a lot to make millions, but this pays for itself right away. Um, it is optional to use premium items. If you do have, you, if you can get these premium items, they will help you out a ton, or to save up crystals with your gifts. Um, so what you need is an industrial diamond mine, which you can get at the yellow section or uh, orange section, sorry. And then you can purchase that, that's 45 million. And if you can't afford the cell processor, which is 950 million, just use the, uh, the uh, cell incinerator. Uh, it won't make nearly as much, but it'll help uh, It will help you get to that point. And you can use regular coal mines, or you can also use the triple coal, uh, coal mines, which are also premium. Uh, these will also help you out a bit. And then I recommend some walled conveyors so the coal doesn't fall out. And you just have a basic con uh, conveyor system leading to industrial diamond mine. And you can make massive, massive systems with these. Um, I recommend making these lines fairly short, otherwise you have coal that's going to affect your ore limit quite a bit. You can put this all across your base to make millions quickly. And then lastly, the biggest thing that's going to make you the most money is your portable fl fl blah 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 flamethrower. That's going to go through here and add plus 5,000 to the ore, and that will give you a ton and a ton of money. Uh, as you can see, you can't see my uh, money per second, but I'm just doing this in my head. You know, this this will bring up to about like 5,100 per ore times 1,500. You know, that's, that's like 5 million per ore, and that's massive. Um, so I hope this flamethrower works for you guys. Um, <laughs> since I'm in the octillions, I don't think my second is working because it's just too small but i hope you guys like this and uh let me know in the comments if you have any questions or concerns or if you're wondering about anything and let me also what other tutorial let me know what other tutorials you guys want uh this is pretty much like my um my little uh setup i showed a long time ago that you just use coal and an industrial mine and a furnace and you can make a ton of money and the setup is mostly portable you can fit like in an extra space in your base uh, again, it's completely customizable. You can make this any size you want. Uh, it's overall pretty small, and it makes a ton of money, and it's fairly cheap and effective as well. Uh, probably the cheapest component is the conveyors. You can easily pick any kind you want. I recommend military if you're in the beginning of the game, um, but if you can, use more expensive ones as well. And I'm also coming out with a code video to get an undead guardian soon, so make sure to check that out. Um, I'm going to have to go through and put some of those code videos as expired because um, those don't work anymore. But I'll see you guys later. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, leave some comments. Let me know what you guys think about this setup. It is getting more and more common, but I decided to put it out there to you guys. And let me know what other ideas or tutorials you guys want. Um, I'll make sure to put tutorials for other setups as well. Um, so <laughs> I'll see you guys later. So in case you're wondering how to make this actual setup, uh, sorry if <laughs> I didn't do that in the first time, but just in case you're ultimately wondering about it So I'm gonna go ahead and re withdraw all this. Oh, yeah, that's another thing too You could use a nature's grip. That's gonna get you a ton more money, but that's for a reboard item So first set up your uh, Your miner whatever you want and then put your cell processor So this is in the middle this little block That's the dropper pretty much and then if you have a flamethrower go ahead and stick that through the middle and then next you want to set up your conveyors so go ahead and do that and then you want to set up your miners again I didn't think this was necessary but just in case you're wondering on how to do it instead of uh, you're just kind of confused I hope this helps quite a bit and there you go it's working <laughs> you have yourself a nice setup already and that's pretty much it guys I'll see you later